Are you having fun with that? This is how you ride a motorcycle, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how they taught me in MSF. Welcome to Daddy's Money Garage. We're at Uncle Tony's Garage. How, how long have we been here? I don't know. What uh, time is it anyway? A year. A year, almost a year. Literally this yeah, weekend. Yeah, this coming weekend it would have been a year. No, like, like, to, like today. No, no, no. The jet project started the weekend after July 4th. No. I have a picture. We went out there on July 4th. You want to fight about it? That's when it was still behind the shed. We'll take this outside. It's been a year. We're still working on it. <laughs> We're still working on the jet. We got some stuff done, actually. Some systems got completed. Or at least one big one did. Probably one of the most important ones, if you like to live. I mean, you're really asking the wrong people about if they want to live. Yeah, probably. Up to you, I guess. John has a science experiment that's been I mean, making this horrible noise all day. Literally all day. Yeah. It's 1.30. Oh, man, dude, tomorrow's July 4th. Oh, yeah, we're putting this up on July 4th. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Rewind 14 hours. Hey, John. Have you seen Garrett? He's been gone for like two weeks. I mean, it's the MO. Ugh. Subie. Subie. Have you seen Garrett? Yeah. He was gone for like two weeks, like after like the, his car broke down. You were with him. Yeah. Where, where's he at? Um. People have disappeared into this car multiple times. Why are you? Have you just been sit? How? I'm gonna need to check the trunk of this car. Garrett. Dude, you've been gone. How have you? Do Do you still have a job? Lesson learned here is uh, don't don't give Scooby a ride. Yeah. Right. We got a race car to build. Me. Yeah. You 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 don't need like food or anything, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Something don't look right there. I think we're probably gonna need to cut a hole in this hood. And we're Maybe. in the process oh, of that. I yeah. It's a little bit that stud's a little bit tall. So we'll just put some grease on it. On the stud. Uh, a little bit more. Just go, just take the whole yeah. can. It's the whole can and just just take it in it. Just Yeah, that that's yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we'll gently let the hood down till it touches. That should leave a mark. Garrett, is that is that a good enough mark right there? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's the center. We need to cut a 15 inch hole with that as the center. Cool. Dope. Cool. Let's take the hood back off now. Now that we have a hole in the hood. Yeah, that, that'll, the air cleaner will fit through that, won't it? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. True. Okay, let's measure now. So that's roughly 15 inches across. I think, I think we're going to have to cut some of this out. Yeah, probably. Probably going to have to cut some of that. Does it seem like it's ready for a grinder wheel or a cutter wheel now? It should be. Sweet. Are we going to see one or not? Let's go prop this thing up somewhere and cut a hole in it and ruin the resale value of this hood. It's fine. I love our stand that we're working here. It really sums up this whole thing. Just trash. Khan is the only one qualified enough to use this angle grinder. Wow. Okay. I see. Well, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, have you seen the fabrication he's done with that thing? I'm sorry, Garrett. I know you're qualified no. with an angle grinder. No. Well, you're, you're not no, no. accepting my apology? No. I wouldn't either. Good. Nobody else does either. Yeah. By the time oh, this no. comes out, it'll be oh, 4th no. of July. Oh, no. So these are our fireworks, I guess. This is the pre-works. Yeah. Jenna, I love how you actually drew a pizza on this thing. Stuby, just disc your art. You know, it's not delivery, it's just order. <laughs> it's like a, it's the junkyard. Like it's <laughs> this is some cutting edge content. These toppings are better than Papa John's. <laughs> The paper. Let's <laughs> wait on that to catch on fire. Yeah. Well, it's a little fire. This is making me hungry. Is it? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Do I want to go to Mellow Mushroom again and Garrett blow a tire? <laughs> you know what? You can just ride with us this time. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. Who made the pizza? There we go. Yeah, we can round out these edges with a die grinder. Can I do that? Sure. Or am I qualified? 
I, you, know, you know, I don't know. Are you? Uh, the sidewalk supervisor. I don't know, man. I have to keep up an image that I do nothing at all on this car, Garrett. Someone's got to record. Here, you really want to record? Sure. You can record. Okay, cool. You want to record? All right. <laughs> all right, yeah, I do nothing. Is this just, are you, wow. I don't need to see my face that close. <laughs> You're not qualified to use that diet. What are you doing? Uh, you know, there's like people that don't like the motorcycle content every now and then, like, like all four of them. I heard them loud and clear. So we have more motorcycle content. John is doing a science experiment right now. This thing has got rust in the tank. No, the tank is rust. Oh, the tank is pretty much rust. Yeah. So you're gonna electrolysisize this. Cool. We'll get it set up, and we'll see if this is how you can explain how you're setting this thing up. Because it's a little bit different than the water pump that we did. Not really. It's just inside out. So here's my dad's charger that we stole again. Hope he doesn't need that anytime soon. Essentially, this tank, though, is a test because Tony wants us to clean out the rust on the tank on the 61 Sportster, and this thing is way more sacrificial. If we're concerned on it taking the paint off of the Sportster, and that's why we're doing it on this one first. I don't think we're going to have an issue with that as long as we don't end up with the solution outside the tank. Yeah. I'm going to fill this tank up with water and my electrolyte solution, which is just um, soda ash. Yeah. Stuff that you get for cool shot. Yeah. Ask your local maintenance guy. It's sodium carbonate, not bicarbonate. Not baking soda. It's baked soda. Yeah. If you take baking soda, you can bake it. All the moisture comes out, it turns into a sodium carbonate. Or you can just buy it at the store in a bag at the big orange store where you have garden supplies go out to the garden supply section look for full stuff or in a bag it's like 12 bucks or blue hardware or the blue store or the blue store the store where we bought most of our tools this thing didn't even have a pet cock on it so yeah that's just a piece of stainless i took a piece of it's not stainless it's just oh. it, yeah it's just stuff it's just just there whatever was a piece of sheet metal about this big so i made it that big poke some holes in it I took a piece, a piece of cardboard. of cardboard in there as a gasket. I don't know if it's going to hold water. Dude, I bet this is going to leak. Uh, it might. <laughs> so we got some, P some uh, PCV pipe. PCV pipe, right? PCV like... It, just, just shut up. This is just a sink stem. It's like four bucks. Poke a bunch of holes in it. There. It's down in there. Perfect. Because you, you can... don't want your anode to touch whatever you're trying to get the rust yeah, off Yeah, you're of. just going to end up shorting it out if that happens. So. so this acts like a buffer, but still lets the water in. Lets the rust in. Yeah, lets the, oh, yeah, lets the rust in, so it'll go into your anode. Yep. We're doing science. I love science. Yeah. Are you doing the, the, the cleaning? Yeah. Yeah, we're cleaning out this gas tank. Uh, and if it works, then we're going to do it on the 61 Sportster. What happened to the Buell? It died. It died? Well, I'm going to bring it back like a phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be reborn. That one was just junk. Yeah. I just need the motor. It, it, so. it, I think most of it is on that monstrosity that Tony gets started. Yeah. It's something. Are you, you're riding that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You need an anode? Yeah. Where's that square stock that was laying around here? I don't know. I'll find it. Damn. Garrett! How's the hole coming? Because we're hearing a ton of grinding noises. You want to flip it? Oh, hell. This is looking good. Cool. Flip it. I'm trying to find a piece of metal. For what? To fix the tank on the DR. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on an adventure. I'm looking for scrap metal. You look like scrap metal. Thanks. You're built like a piece of scrap metal. I am scrap metal. Wait a minute. Over in this corner back here, maybe. Oh, hey, here it is. I found about 16 feet of deck cord stuck inside of it. I'm Wait, what? One time I was at the shop and I took the business end off of a 460 volt, like 30 horse electric submersible pump. And there was like 16 feet of dead cord stuck inside of it. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. I found her scrap metal. It's a little long. A little? Yeah. As long as it doesn't touch the bottom, it'll be fine. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We got to cut this hole a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, are you sure you're grinder certified? Yeah. Are Actually, you this, this time it's cutter, but... Are you forklift certified? Actually, I am. Really? Yes. I crashed a forklift once into a brand new gun safe. What is we... Hey. Yeah, I cost Bass Pro Shop like three grand. John, are you forklift certified? Once, yes. It's Gobbles. Expired. Gobbles. I like how nobody Gobbles. Are you forklift certified? Yes, I am. Wow. Stewie, are you forklift certified? Yeah. Okay, cool. I got fired because of an incident involving a scissor lift. 
Yeah, you probably went into the pool. No, no, it was worse than that. Worse than that? Tipped over a boat? No. Knocked the whole rack over? No. I'll, it's a story for another time. Well, yeah, you just told me that you crashed into a new gun safe. Yeah, that was with a forklift, though, not the scissor lift. This doesn't look safe. Never is. So the hole's been embiggened. We had to make the hole bigger because it was making contact with the air filter. I'm uh, I'm very impressed with this result that you guys actually, and not me at all, have done. I didn't do any of this. <laughs> this is so... Ah, oh, it's bitching. Are you happy with it, John? I'm pretty happy. I wonder how it looks inside the car. And this is putting getting in the car. Look, I've gotten actually pretty good at this. Got pretty good at this? Yeah. Squeezing in there? Squeating the buns? That a boy! I hate you immensely. Yeah, well, everybody does. It's fine. Send your hate mail to me. Yeah, Anyways. yeah. To, to, the, to the email that I'm going to put in this video. Somewhere here because we're lining our office wall with hate mail. Yes, and then we're going to read it off. If you whoever, One of these days. Whoever you address it to is okay. going to read your hate mail. Exactly. Even if you don't mean it, send us yeah, something to read. It, Especially John. Maybe even Stewie. This is cool. Oh man, I'm going to run over John. I just... Let's go. This is going to be so cool. Yes. We still is. have a lot to do. You know, it's got a hole in the hood now. <laughs> That's what matters. That's all that matters. If you were here, you would know about this thing already. You have not seen my dirt bike. As punishment, you have to ride my dirt bike. Okay. No, you don't want to ride this thing. It's an 85 oh. YZ490 with an ATV engine, which means it has reverse. Oh yeah. I ordered a caliber but it was the wrong size, so now I still need a front brake. I can't find one. If anybody, if anybody that's watching this has one of these calipers, just let me know. I will pay you for it. Help me not die. And send Garrett your hate mail. I don't think I need to tell anybody how much this costs. Not that it was a lot, just that I paid for it in the first place. I'm saying it's dangerous and it's terrifyingly dangerous, but I still don't care because I ride it anyway. I love your kickstand. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's a, you know, it's a Harbor Freight one, so it still may not even hold it up. How's the science, the science experiment? Oh, that looks like it's actually, ooh. Oh yeah, okay. It's like a really, really bad coffee in there. So I guess that we can now get the fuel pump situated where it needs to be and maybe put in the harnesses. I'm pretty sure they came with hardware. Probably. Let's go take a look. Where are the harnesses at? Uh, there's one. Oh my god, we have a hood we can put stuff on now. Let's see what's going on with these Corvo harnesses. Uh, instructions. Yeah, I don't need those. Belts, stuff. What? I just dump it out. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, they came with hardware. Sweet. Sweet. I've never put in harnesses though, so. I know they're wrapped around the bar, but. And there has to be a hole under the seat for like the lower belt that goes through it the anti-submarine yeah yeah so um we don't have to take the seats out we just drove one of the car we just put it in between the mountain bolts it's really easy to find feel how nice the padding is it's so nice and they say corbo on them not sponsored but hey hit me up because this is some nice what is stuff it? what are y'all what the hell <laughs> stretching her back <laughs> You know, the, this is why the comments say that we never get anything done. This is how every Sunday has been since we started it. We just started recording what yeah. went on. This is like not even a joke. I'm just holding a camera to it. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, this is what happens all the time. But we yeah. get a lot of work done. Yeah. I mean, we're here for like usually 10 hours. Yeah. We never get anything done, Garrett. We never, never, get, any, never, never, never get, anything ever done. get anything done. Nothing. Stubby stole your scooter. I think I hear a scooter. I think I hear him. Oh God. <laughs> this thing's probably deadly in the rain. <laughs> what was that? Did he crash? Surely not. 
or maybe he did. I don't know. That sounded, sounded like, like sounded like metal on the asphalt. Oh, she got a little squirrely. Is that what that noise was? Yeah. I think I owe you a break here. Oh. Okay, good. It still runs. We need this for the no-name. Yeah, it went down. I mean, that was oh. the noise you heard. See going down. There's, oh. a, there's a mark back there from the from the, from the kickstand. Oh man, be careful. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's blatantly obvious. <laughs> what did he do? I don't Look know. Look at the right angle here. What is this? Oh. oh he slid for a good bit. You hit the paper? That's possible I hit the paper. Oh the paper, that's what did it. Yeah, you can see it started right here. You can see it kind of starting to Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's uh, uh paper. Yeah. Must have been the paper. Yeah. I okay. had a I had a friend that they were riding their uh, Yamaha home and they hit a Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice sign. That it was like the, the sign? Yeah, no, it was like one of those little like yard sale signs they had in front of the Dunkin' Donuts. Wind blew it out. It was in the road, front tire, boom, broken arm. Ugh. How's the fuel pump? It's out. Sweet. So Garrett relocated the fuel pump from here to I guess right there. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, this thing looks so cool and it's like lunchtime so let's go get kicked out of mellow mushroom again like, we didn't get kicked out the first time what are you well, that just means we have to try harder we have stubby with us again it's always a good time for round two. <laughs> well that was a good lunch how's the science experiment oh god that is disgusting yep dude let's dump this out yep oh. <laughs> cool. Not as bad as oh, it's getting worse. Oh my god. That is some disgusting water, John. Huh? It's not environmentally dangerous or anything. It's not, no. it's just water and shock. And rust. Well, you know. A little yeah. bit of iron goes back to the earth, helps it out. Yeah. We have we need iron, so is the earth. It's just returning what it gave us. Yeah, exactly. So really, the world owes us. To be left, and now we are on our own devices. Start bleeding brakes? I guess we can do that. We've got uh, to bench bleed this master cylinder. We're just gonna do it on the car. And how we'll do that is just use the brake pedal because it's all hooked up. So what we gotta do is like fill this thing up and then I'll get in and push the pedal and you just hold the lines in the reservoir. Come. And when bubbles start coming or stop coming, then we know it's good. Where's the brake fluid? Right behind you. Oh. Literally right behind you. Cool. DOT4 for performance. Doesn't last as long as dot three, but that's fine. Who cares? Yeah. All right. The master is bled and the lines are hooked back up. And John has pointed out that we probably need more brake fluid. I'm probably just, I, I should probably just go preemptively get another bottle of brake fluid. Also, we probably should just go ahead and start with the rears. Go, okay. Well, yeah. we do the rears first. Sure. Just see where they're at. Yeah. Okay. We've got a millennial uh, solution to this problem of bleeding brakes. Uh, getting in and out of this car is a complete disaster. And John doesn't want to get up nine million times. So we're just gonna go on FaceTime, set his phone in front of the master cylinder, and I'm gonna leave my phone right here and I'll just tell him when the fluid's low. This yeah. is genius. <laughs> Show this great thing you've done. I ran to Austin's car and grabbed the tripod. I've got my phone clipped to it and I stole this. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I can clearly see that. That is HD. This <laughs> is peak laziness. This, this is perfect. It only took three minutes. Let's bleed some brakes. Okay, Dan. On the video where I talked about putting in the brake lines, there were a bunch of people saying that we put the calipers on the wrong side because the Why? bleeders were at the bottom. Huh? What? Yeah, I had to type this like answer like nine million times, so I'm just gonna just gonna show you. Wellwood calipers have bleeders on the top and the bottom, so it doesn't matter what side you put them on. That's my Wellwood PSA. It doesn't matter what side they're on. Well, I'd say that's not torqued, but that's like on there. The brakes are bled. They work great. And uh, we need to clean the rotors. Real bad. Yeah, really bad. They're super covered in uh, dust and Bondo. 
Bondo. So the whole bondo. shop is covered in Bondo. Like, have you noticed the walls have gotten, like, grayer? Yeah. It's because of Bondo dust. Oh, bondo. The Cuban dart. You can't even... That was, like, a, you know, very clean, shiny car. Now you can't even see through the glass. <laughs> I'm just gonna write, I love Bondo on the hood. Yeah. I, obvi yeah you know, obviously. Everything on this scooter is held on... Even the stickers bondoed on it. Everything's but he bonded the <laughs> the electrical connections. Uh, I know that hurts you deeply inside. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the first system that we had like working on this car was the steering, and that was easy because I was just hooking everything back up after rebuilding the front end, taking it apart, part, cleaning it, painting it, and making it look all pretty, and then getting it filthy. It's yep. all filthy. Everything's it's, covered it's, in red tacky it's, grease. It's gonna need to be pressure washed. Oh yeah. But you know what? This is number two. We have brakes. The car steers. The car stops. Now I need to make it go. But we're not we're not done tonight though. We need fuel. Mm -hmm. So we need one line that connects from the main line under the car to the pump, which is now under the trunk. And then we connect it to the carburetor and then from the pump to the tank and then she can hold gas. We can make a fuel line. Yeah, let's finish getting those fuel lines together so we can return that tool we rented. Yeah, we need to flare some lines. Back to it. We left off last like we were making fuel lines, right? Yeah. And that's uh, not quite able to be done tonight, I don't think. No, it got real late. Yeah, Austin I, fell asleep uh, under the car. I Yeah, I did. I fell asleep under the car. And you were messing with the fuel lines, so you're the only one that knows what's up. What is it that's going on and how do we fix it? Original design was to have a fuel pump in the truck, trunk on my uh, my little bracket that I made. And that ain't really happening. Problem with that is that this little bracket that I made was meant to hold it standing up. Also the pinion seal's leaking. Um, we realized that once we filled it up. But that little bracket was meant to have the fuel pump sitting up on top of it in the trunk and it's a little weebly wobbly. So I don't want to run a hard line right to it, because if I do, I don't want that to work harden and snap or anything. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, add some flex. So what we're going to do, there's a little connector over there. You can see it, little brass thing. We're going to come down, and I'm going to make some flex lines to connect to the pump, and then from the pump to the fuel cell right there. That's pretty much just going to isolate it. Yeah. To where, like, the pump shaking around a little bit isn't going to matter. Yep. Also, it, it makes tonight easier because... Because now we go home. Now we go home. It's in its, like, final cosmetic form, kind of. This is it. This is what it'll look like, except, you know, the front's on jack stands right now, So, but when this thing's on the ground, you remember when it was on the ground? It was just... It had that it was kind glorious of, rake. Kind of stink bugging a little bit. That Just that little peak right there. Yeah. I can't wait until we pull up next to a Honda and hit the nitrous purge. Let's talk about where it sits right now. So today, the shifter went back in and it works perfectly fine. It's it's back in there now. It runs through all the gears. I don't think it's gonna have to come out again. Of course, now that I said that, it probably will. The steering works. The brakes are bled. They all work. The hood's back together. It's clearance for the air cleaner. Cosmetically, it's, you know, it's almost there. But we have like, what, three systems done? Now it's all about it running and moving. And that is going to take fuel and ignition and a drive shaft. Yes. You got to get the radiator in. Got to get the rad yeah. in. That's what's going to hold us up from doing it, like from like touching this thing off next weekend, I think. Yeah. I think realistically, if I had to give a tentative estimation of Don't when do this that. thing would be running. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. I really think maybe two weeks. I think maybe a week after next. Well, don't make promises you can't commit to. I'm not making a promise. I'm taking a guess. Okay. Guesstimates that you might be able to commit to. Yeah, not committing to anything, but maybe two weeks. The little details that we want to add to it will be done after this thing is actually, like, running and moving. Because that's, uh, that's the important part. How's your science experiment? Um, it's still cooking. I've pulled the anode out and hit it with the grinder, like... Four times. At least. Five think so? It was five times. It's doing something. Oh god. Gross. Oh man, dude, that's, it's so disgusting in there. Ugh. 
It's like pulling the pea trap on a sink that's never been opened up. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Lady. Well, this is apparently doing something. Is it? Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. All of that was schmoo that was in this tank that is now not there. Well, it's still kind of there. I'm sure there's more of it in there. Well, this thing's probably going to have to bake for... Oh, dude, yeah, it's still bad. It's still disgusting it's in still there. It's still bad in there. Yeah, I need to get my... I need to bring my laptop out so I can um, use my endoscope and look around inside the actual thing. Then that can be good finally as soon as I source a petcock and a fuel cap because the one that I bought isn't actually for it because they listed it incorrectly. And then we can all go ride dirt bikes together. And then we can all go ride... Well, oh. you know, I'll... <laughs> yeah, I'm riding it. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what anybody says. Oh. I love this vehicle because everybody hates it. You know, that's okay. There's no problems there. It's, it's like a wizard sleeve. It's okay, man. It's all right. Look at the teeth on the sprocket, man. Dude, it needs dude, a new rear dude. sprocket. Dude, you're showing motorcycle content. Dude, I, they... they... Oh yeah, there's not no enough one, wheels. No one likes that. No, no, no one, I don't care. I, I just want to point out, if you tell me not to do something, I'm more likely to just do it for no reason other than I've been told not to do it. I just noticed this. Dude, it's an ATV. This... Dude, just to, dude, no, there's nothing wrong here. Dude, I said there's nothing wrong. That makes the dong look like a piece of art. Dude, no, you want to know art? It's that. This is art. Rear view no, sticker? No. Just... Rear view mirror. Don't ask any questions. POW! <laughs> Hold on, this, where's the sticker that was on the back of Slaghammer for Power Tour? It's, uh, it's here now. <laughs> this came off of, why? Oh. Why? I didn't. John, let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> like and subscribe. Do all that cool YouTube stuff. This car's almost together. I hope it runs soon. I think it will. I feel like it will. Do you think it will? Yeah. I hope so. Catch you on the next one. See y'all.